I kept asking the Lord if I was supposed to say this before Peyton's song, and I heard yes. This ne- and I have no idea what his next song is. Uh, some of you guys are trying to go back and unlock doors that God's already shut that he does not want you going back to. He's opening up new doors. So quit trying to go back to the old doors that he shut. It might be with friends. It might be with family members. That doesn't mean you can't pray for them, you don't love them, but you got to release them. But there's something about going back, and, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if you're trying to go back to old memories, old jobs, old something, old relationships, something. But you're not supposed to be doing it. God is opening up new doors that no man can open up, but only Yeshua. And so quit trying to go back because God says he doesn't do that. He moves us from glory to glory. So like my friend Diane says, we're not on the crazy train anymore. We're on the glory train. So quit quit trying to go, go back and unlock that door and fix it or go back to it and open it up and go into it and do whatever needs. No, 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 no. That's done. You've already done your part. It's time to lock and seal that door with the blood of Yeshua and you move forward. And those people that are meant to be in your life and continue to be in your life, God's going to keep them there, place them there, okay? that does Sometimes, and that doesn't mean you totally seal them off, and you, but it's like, no, I'm going this direction. You chose to stay in this direction. I'm going in this direction. And some of it's going to seem real strange and real weird. And it's, some of it's going to be a little sad. Because these are going to be friends and family members that you're going, but Lord, but Lord, but Lord. And he goes, no, 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 no. They're not ready to go where you're going. That doesn't mean I don't love them, but you got to trust me. I've got them in the palm of my hand. I created them. So you let go of them. And you move forward in what I'm telling you to do. Because I'm telling you to do this because I'm protecting you. I am protecting you from things that you don't know, see, or understand. So instead of trying to fix those situations and those people or those relationships, you move into what God's telling you move into. Because like Jennifer got a word this weekend. It's about a bus. A bus can re- represent several things, but God's trying to give you a new ministry and a new level, and you're staying stuck. Just like I've said before, you're still on Fantasy Island, Gigl- Gilligan's Island. He's, he's like, we're done with Gilligan's Island. We're stepping forward, okay? We're getting off the crazy train, and we're going to get on the glory train. And we're going to pull people on the glory train, but we're not going to go back on the crazy train with them. We can't do that no more. And here's the, I love how the Lord is. Once you've stepped off and you're moving forward, you try to go back. And when you go back, it's so dang painful. God will make it so, if he's trying to get you to do something, he will throw you in the belly of the whale. And it will be so yucky, so disgusting, so I I can't even describe it. Because he goes, you know what? I told you I'm taking you to Nineveh whether you want to go or not. Now, come on. So what you need to do today is why he plays this next song. You tell the Lord you're sorry for being disobedient to where he's trying to take you. Because whoever those people are that he's taken over here friends, family members, parents, whoever, it's because they're trying to keep you being disobedient and staying stuck. And it's so painful, but say, Lord, I'm sorry. I know you've got them. But he obviously sees and knows something that you just don't know and can't see. So today, release whoever those friends and family members are and say, Lord, I'm sorry because I'm going on the glory train. And I know you've got them. 
So I'm sorry for my disobedience out of fear. And so, Lord, we thank you today that you are making a way where there is no way. You are opening doors that we can't even understand. And so we step in to those open doors. We don't look back in the name of Jesus because, Father God, you've got such a great plan for us. And, Lord, you love us. You protect us. You say you can't keep doing that. And so release it, release it, release them, release them, release it, and release whatever you thought your future was going to look like. God's got your future. You keep trying to put your whatever on that, and God's like, "Mm -mm 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 -mm." I got it. Give it to me, because it'll be way better than you can think, dream, or imagine. So you release it to him, because God wants what's best for you. He created you. He knows your thoughts. He knows. He knows. He knows. And so, Lord, we submit those plans, those, all that over to you today and show us what the destiny you have for us so we can step in it in the name of Jesus. Well, I'm just going to dive in, okay? Might as well just dive in. Let's just do that. All right. So, just follow after me with this, okay? I decree decree that I I am submitted submitted to the plans plans and timing timing of God. God. I decree decree that I walk walk in humility. humility. I I recognize. That all good gifts gifts come from God. God. I submit my gift gift to the providence providence of God. God. I decree decree that I serve serve the Lord Lord and his people people with gladness. gladness. I decree decree that I am not... Easily Easily offended, offended. and I give no place place to the spirit spirit of offense. offense. I decree decree that I am quick quick to forgive. forgive. Remind me of that one. (laughs) I decree decree that my heart heart is is pure and refined. By the fire fire of God, God. I decree decree that I let go go of every wrong wrong done to me. me. I let go go of hurt hurt and pain. pain. I receive receive the healing grace. And power power of God. God. I decree decree that I am not not blinded blinded by ambition. ambition. I decree decree that I honor honor those those whom God God has has placed in my life. I decree decree that I am am an honorable honorable person. person. I decree decree that I honor honor those in authority. authority. I decree decree that I communicate communicate honestly honestly with with those who have Hurt, hurt or, or offended, me. offended me. I decree, I decree that, I that I embrace the ministry, the ministry of, restoration. of restoration. I decree, I decree that, my that my spiritual eyes are open, are open to, discern evil to discern evil plots 
against me. I decree that I walk in the authority of the Lord to subdue and overthrow all demonic all demonic uh, all demonic plots against me i decree that i enjoy divine protection my thoughts are clear my mind is healed and delivered I do not not mediate mediate on past hurts hurts or wounds. wounds. I do not give give place place to to demonic demonic accusations accusations and thoughts. thoughts. I do not dwell dwell on negative Past experiences, past experiences or wounds. Or wounds. I remember that one, yes. <laughs> I, am not quick I am not quick to react, to react from, a from a place of offense, of offense and, hurt. and hurt. I set the power, set the power of God, of God free, free in my mind. I think, I think like, Jesus. like Jesus. I dream, I dream. Like, Jesus. like Jesus. I love, I love. Like, Jesus. like Jesus. I live, I live. Like, Jesus. like Jesus. I think, I think. God, thoughts. God thoughts. I take captive. Very negative thought thought. that would try try. to establish establish a pattern pattern of broken thinking thinking in my life. life. I release release the redeeming power power of God God in my thought life. life. I release the truth. Of God's word word. in my mind. mind. I take take my medicine medicine daily daily and meditate meditate on the word word of God. God. I'm going to end this out with a prayer. It's a prayer for humility and honor. In Proverbs 22, 3 and 4. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Father, I thank you that I walk in humility and honor. I honor you in my life. I honor those whom you have placed in my life as friends, associates, partners, and leaders. Teach me the way of honor. Help me to act honorably, to speak honorably, and to live honorably. I submit to you my life, my heart, and every gift you have given to me. Help me to honor you with my gifts and to live in integrity and humility. Help me to resist any spirit of pride that would attempt to infiltrate my thinking in the name of Jesus. Thank you for humility and honor in every area of my life. In Jesus' name, amen.